Uh, what's up everyone welcome once again to my youtube channel uh, this video I'm going to be teaching you how to create a website using wordpress.com if you watch my pre previous video I actually stopped here on how to get the domain and the host server for your website uh, it would be nice you creating a website and after your your web your web name uh, it's going to be dot wordpress.com so it's better you have your own custom uh, domain name and also a host server that you are going to store all your data on. So I'm giving you that for free. Watch the previous video and learn how to do that. And if you've already watched the video, so stay with me. After we generated the domain name and also the host server, so this is our domain name right here, replex.tutorial.ga, and just to give us our administrative URL. This admi administrative URL it works for uh, the admin itself which is me uh, if I want to upload anything on my website I want to design the website from there uh, this is what I will click on so let us jump into that and click on it it's going to take us to a new tab I can still go back to this previous tab again then click on the website itself click on it it's also create a new tab for us as you can see right here uh, it's loading my dashboard so wait for it to load So this is what my WordPress dashboard looks like and I'm using currently using uh, version 5.9.2 I think it's the latest, latest version but you can as well check it later on to update it. So this WordPress it's just like you using Photoshop for those who are familiar with Photoshop it will be very easy for you to create a website here and uh, no coding skill needed and it's totally, totally free but you can decide to upgrade to a premium plan later on in the day. But everything I'll be doing right now is going to be on the free package. It's going to be nice. We're going to design a nice website from it. So let's start by changing our permalink. We'll go to settings. Under settings, I will click on permalinks right there. So wait for it to load. So the permalink starts from starts for okay. Maybe when I post my picture or I post anything on my page or on my website what i want the post to be all about the name i want to be uh in the permalink permalink stands for like www.refleximage.ga uh it can be maybe just the file you post uh, slash the file you're about to post slash the date you posted it slash the category it is supposed to be in slash the person who posted it and i think that would be very long for someone to memorize so it's better just turn off everything and make sure uh make it just uh the name of your website dot ga slash the post name i think that will be okay for now so let's click check for that as you can see right now over here choose year month you posted it the day the post name so we are going to remove all that and leave all the post name there so i'll clean the date clean the year clean the months and i think post name is okay so i'm going to save that save changes can see I'm done with that so the next thing I will do right now is to install a new team uh, the team is the basic the structure of how the website should look like so in this tutorial I'm going to be using ocean WP team you can as well use any team you like there are so many teams on WordPress both free and premium but of the free team I'll be using right now is called ocean WP I'm going to click on my teams, wait for it to load, go to add new, then search for Ocean WP, Ocean, W, P, so we scroll there, okay, this, this is it right here, so I'm going to click on install, I wait for it to install so there are so many other teams here you can make use of so it's just a matter of choice and the type of design I want to use it for right now what I'm going to what I'm building here is a website probably for my photography my online store where I sell some of my products but I'm going to show you full details on how to sell your products right here 
Uh, I'm going to be doing that on my next tutorial, but I'll be teaching you how to set up your own web page, launch it, and make it look nice. So while waiting for it to install, let me give you some few details about it also. So building with WordPress, very very simple. If you are committed to learn it, so keep watching to the end. If you have any question, don't hesitate exist, exist to ask me. I'll drop my number in the uh, description below. You can just contact me there, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So now our team is installed. Then I'll click on activate. I'll go to customize. I click on customize. So it's going to display what our site look like right now before we start editing so that you can know we are building the site from scratch. So wait for it to load right now. So this is what our site looks like. Reflex prototype, learn WordPress from scratch, no coding skill needed. It doesn't look that attractive. So we are going to manipulate it, then change it to what we want it to look like. So first thing we'll go to our site identity. Site identity. Site ID2. We can decide to leave the site ID2 or we can just remove the site ID2. Display. We can just switch it off. Anything you're working on right there is going to display right there. So just note that so that you can know what you're doing. So we are going to select our site icon. Site icon starts for the image that will appear on this tax bar over here. Like this, uh, this one I have by this is the site icon. This is the site icon. What page is our site icon, uh, icon over here? So I'm going to select an, a picture for that. So let me go to my desktop and pick a picture for that. You can use anything for your site icon. You can use a letter, an alphabet, anything you want, a picture. So let me just pick something from my desktop to make this up right now for my site icon. Okay, let me use this picture I have over here. Wait for it to load. Once you're done with the cropping, you just have to click on crop. Wait for it to load. So once it does. So you can see over here let's check it out mm -hmm. so this is what it, it look like once i want to click on your website as you can see it has changed over here so this is it over here so we are going to publish it it's just as if we are saving it so once we're done with that we go to the next uh, item on the menu Which are creating with our menu. Uh, we are going to be creating in a web page. Sorry, we are going to be creating some web page, some web page over here. Which is our maybe our uh, our store, our about us, contact, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to go to my menu. No, I mean I create a new menu. Create new menu over here. Let me name it. Reflex, reflex, oh, oh, one. Okay, so I'm going to choose where I want the menu to display. Okay, I want to display on the main, and also I want to display on the footer also. So I'll click on the footer, and also want the menu to display on even my mobile. So once I'm done with my selection, I'll click on next. So I'm going to add item now. I'll add items to the menu. Like all the pages I want to be there. So this sample page, I'm going to delete it. Sample page, I'm going to delete it. So 
I'm going to start to add uh, all my pages. Let me start with my. We already have our own page here. Let me start my store. Store. Add. Can you see? About us. About us. I'm going to add. Smudge painting. Painting. I'm going to add it. YouTube videos or just videos, video tutorial. Tutorial. I'm going to add. So these pages I'm adding, they are about what I do. You can set to hide anything yourself. You know, I'm a photographer, I'm a smudge painter, and I also do YouTube videos. That's why I'm using all this uh all this menu. And this menu are just like navigations. So all the pages you have on your web page. So I'm still gonna add the photography to it. Photography. And also contact our contact page also. Contacts. So I'm going to add it. So I want to arrange it according to the day and everything. Sorry, according to the alphabet. Let me start from your other. So the uh, home is supposed to be at the top, but the home is not there. Let me go and add the home first. Add items. My home. Let me add the home. Okay. This is the home right there. So I'm going to add the home. I'm going to rearrange everything. So the home has to be at the top. I'm going to reduce my navigation key until I make sure it gets there. So the next thing I want to be on my uh the way I want them to follow account the I think my store is okay. After my store, I'll go to my smudge painting, uh video tutorials, uh photography. So contact and about us. I think they are okay as they are right now. So I'll click on done. If I'm to scroll to the top, so you can see use my menu bar here, which way to look. If I'm to open it, home store, smudge painting, video tutorial about us, photography, and the contact. So I'm going to close it. I'm still going to publish it with the same as saving also. So I'll go back, click on back, click back. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to go to my home page settings. So this home page, uh, there are two types of home page. We have the home page that would display anything you post on any site, on any of your pages, of your web pages. It's going to display on your home page first before you navigate it to the page that you posted it. Or you can just build a static page for it, which is what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm going to change it to static page. Click on static. So I'm going to select a page for my static page. I click on select. Add sorry, add a page, which is going to be my own page. My own. So I'll click. I'll add it here. So I wait for it to load. As you can see, all our menu at the top. We still have it down here also. These are menu right there. So I'm going to click on my back. So I'm going to next thing I'll do right now. I'll be adding uh, the logo. So the next thing I'll go to do now. I'm going to go to my header. Under my header, this is our logo over right here. So we'll click on select logo. I will be using the PNG logo for this particular tutorial. Uh, it's a logo I did for a friend of mine, which who is as a photograph uh, photographer. I can actually use my own logo, but I already use it on my own personal site. So I'm going to pick the logo up. So what you are going to do now, you know, let me go back and show you something. You know our top menu over here it's white so we try to pick a logo now we can't pick a white logo because it's not going to show so we are going to pick a dark logo so 
I did the logo in two color, which is the white and also the black. So I'm going to select, go for the black now. If I'm to use it in the base, uh, where it's uh, dark, I'm going to be using the white logo. So I'm going to be picking. I'm going to pick the logo right now. So I'll look for the PNG file. As you can see right now, it's saying PNG right now. Click on it. I'll click open. Wait for it to load. So I'm going to crop the image, edit image. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to click select. Wait for it. It's going to bring me to where I'm going to crop it. Actually, it does over here. So I'll click on crop image. Wait for it. Wait for it. As you can see, this is our logo over here. But our logo is covering almost everything we have over here. And it brought the menu down. That's not what we want. So I'm going to reduce the size of the logo. As you can see. I'm going to increase the IC bits. I think this size is okay. I love it like this. Okay, I'm still going to save it. So now I've added our logo there. So we're trying to create our menu to be on a list, not on an icon. As I said earlier on, as you can see over here. So it's going to be on minimal, but you won't see the effect here until you save it. Then load your website. You know where we created our websites, where we get our domain and our host that gave us two link. I just want to edit, and this is the link we are going to check how our website website looks like. So once I click on it now, I wait for it to load. As you can see, right there my own my store my smart painting instead of being in an icon this is how i have it over here so that's what we're trying to achieve so once in a while do go and check the website to see what you've done so far so we're going to leave that and we're going to remove the content here as you can see there's a content the menu is still over here so we are going to remove just that right now So we're going to go back, go back again, we'll go to top bar, we'll go to general, then we're going to disable top bar, we're going to switch it off. So once we publish it, we'll go back to our site again, we reload it, as you can see it's no longer there again. So I think we're done with that for now. So we'll go back now, proceed to the next step, which is the general settings. We go to our general, general settings, content white. I think 100% is okay. Sidebar, reduce it to zero because we don't need sidebar in our website. So we still scroll down, check other settings. So you can just manipulate everything you have here, the UCP, but we are not going to work on that place right now. We just want to set up a simple website for ourselves. So the next thing we'll go to our page title. I don't like this page title that is showing over here. I already know I'm on my own page, so I'm probably going to remove this one right now. So I'll just click here. I don't all device. As you can see right now, we have our menu, our logo. Our home is no longer there again. So I'm still going to save it by publishing it. And I'll go back again. I'll scroll down. I uh, scroll up. I'm going to fix a scroll up here. A button. So it's we open navigate back to the top of the website. In case you scroll down, and it's a very long page. So once you just click, you can pick any button there. Add it to it. So once someone just click on it, it take them back to the top of your website. 
So you can try to put it on the left, on the or on the right hand side. But I think people love putting most on the right hand side. You can still increase the size. Let me see if it's going to show down here. But mind you, in case you are doing anything that is not showing here, just reload your the real web address to check it out if it's there or not. So when we're done with that, we'll go to our typography now. Go back to our typography. Back typography. So under our typography now we'll go to general. This typography is all about the fonts we are going to be making use of. So I think the Latin point is still okay. I'll still go back and I'll go to my main menu fonts. Let me scroll that main menu. So I can change the font to anything I see fit right there. I can change it to I see fit. As you can see over here. I can change it here, I see if it. So once I'm done with that, I still go back again. So I'll go to my footer. So you can change the copyright from this reflex image into to, to anything you feel like. Maybe let us change it to reflex tutorial. Reflex tutorial 2022. To make it look professional, uh, professional enough. So once we're done with that, we still go back. Then we still save it again. So once we're done with that, we we'll go back. We can see it here. Then we we'll go back to our WordPress dashboard, where the work begins. So the next step for we now is to install plugins. Uh, plugins are additional features, additional settings that will help enhance your website. Uh, they have so many features for editing. Just like in Photoshop, we have plugins for Photoshop. Uh, we have our Beauty Retouch plugins. We have our Ultimate Beauty Retouch plugin. So we have different plugins for WordPress uh, that has a lot of features. So the one we, we are going to be using of to design our web page is called our Elementor Page Builder. So I will click on plugins over here, then click on add new plugins. So I will wait for it to load. So I will search for it, Elementor, as you can see over here, click on it, wait for it to load, then click on install. Uh, if you have any questions so far or you got confused along the way, uh, kindly drop a message in the comment section below or just message me on WhatsApp, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And also, if you're interested in building a website and you want me to build a website for you, maybe for your personal use or for your commercial use, uh, kindly contact me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So, waiting for you to install now. And also guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the notification icon below uh, help me move the ministry forward and refer a lot of people to watch this video because I'm going to learn from it. Creating website from scratch is not that easy but a lot of people want to do that but they got discouraged along the way uh, maybe because of the money sometimes and some don't actually know how to code. So there are so many issues that comes up when it comes to website building and I'm going to be teaching you a way to bypass most of those right now. So watch the end guys. So once it activates, there's something we need to do before we start editing our page. You know we are using Ocean WP plugins uh, team I mean to say and it requires some plugins for you to be able to function at its utmost priority. So this is what is going is telling us here now that we should install the plugins needed. So I'm going to click on begin installing plugins right now. And wait for you to install the plugins for me. Once it's, once it, once it does, I'll be able to make use of the plugins. So after we're done with the installation and the activation of our Elementor, so now we are going to start building our web page. So I'll be showing you tools for you guys to make use of to build another web page for yourself. So let's start with the home page first. So I will go to my page, click on all pages. 
and we're going to load once it does i'll search for home click on edit then click on edit with elemental So this is what our elemental look like, just like Photoshop, drag and drop. So from here on, this is where the work starts from. Using your talent, using your skill as a graphic designer. So we just have to manipulate these two, one after the other to get what you need. It's very very easy to make use of. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make use of it. So let's start by creating a web banner. That's the post on the agenda. I'll create my web banner. Firstly, I'll create a section here, which is the web banner section. Just to let you guys know, we are building the website from scratch. You can decide to import templates, but I want to teach you guys how to build from scratch. Later on, I will show you how to make the template and really the template to your own benefit. So I'll click on add section here. I'm currently using two sections which will be the left and the right hand side on the left hand side I want, to, I want a picture to be there or the logo and some write up and also a call to action right on the right side I want to import a picture there so what I will do right now I will click on this icon over here so we have image over here I'm going to drag it right here so you can see I'm also still going to drag the same image the icon to this other side too this way I'll be importing on my logo so what I'm going to do now I'm going to import the logo firstly I want to work on the logo first I'll click on choose I already have my logo in my image gallery over here so I'll click on it but right now i will go for the white uh logo because right now i'm making use of a dark background so i'll click on upload select file and i'll pick the white logo then click on open wait for it to load once it does i'll click on inserts so you can see right now these are our image right there so I'm going to reduce the size to thumbnail which is 150 by 150 so as you can see the image over here the next thing I'll do is to create a background I want to create a background for this section but me creating a background now I want to use a picture at the background so for me to work on the background I'm going to click on this button over here edit section I'll click on it automatically the menu here will change then I'll go to style uh, the background classic you can use gradient you can use video and you can use slideshow there are the variety of pictures to be showing one after the other but I'll go for the classic then I'll choose my image so I'm going to import my, my image also I think I have a picture over here select my background picture and use any of these pictures I have over here and I can decide to use the landscape which for it ok I'll go for this and I'll drag it into my browser wait for it to upload So this is the picture over here, so I will just edit the picture, I want to crop out some parts, I want it to fit in what I want it for, so I will click on edit, then wait for it to load up, so I am going to crop it to the 
size I need so I'll drag it over the area I want to show so you can see I'm doing it right now these are the area I want to show so I can just adjust it so once I'm done I'll click on crop then I'll save it so once I'm done with that I'll click on insert image as you can see right now the image is now on our background but the image being on our background right now uh, my logo is not that showing so I'm going to add an overlay to it so how am I going to do that I will switch up the background over here click on overlay so my overlay I'll click on classic also but this time around I'm making use of colors not picture again I'll click on it I'll look for a darker color but this time around I'm going for cyan I'm going for deep blue okay let me look for color that will match and decide to use any color you want so once I'm done selecting my color I'm going to copy the color code because that's what I will use all through my videos so I'm going to copy it over here Ctrl C so maybe probably open my notepad then paste it there so anytime I want to make use of color pertaining that I'll just go there and pick it then apply the color so I'm going to increase the opacity as you can see yeah I think this is way better and my logo is showing right now so I think we're done with that for now the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to import the image to this right hand side also so I'll click on it right now then I'll choose the image I want I'm going to upload the picture there I'll still go back to my file manager again I already drafted the PNG file which I designed. I'm going to import it in. I'll click it over here. I'm still going to drag it there. I'm going to drop it before it load. So I'm going to still, I'm still going to edit it also. Crop. As you can see. Once I'm done with that, I'll click on crop back again. Wait for it to crop itself. Then I'll save it. After that, I'll click on insert image. So you can see our image right now on the right hand side. So I can change the size of the image, medium. As you can see, to make it smaller, to make it bigger, I think I will go for the large one. So we can decide to put it on the left hand side or the right, right hand side. Uh, to you see if it depends on your creativity skill, how you want it to be. So once we're done with that, I'm going to write a slogan at the down of this picture. I will bring in a section, a text section right there. So I'm going to put some write-ups there. I can write anything. Welcome to my page, to my website. Kindly scroll through. So you can try to put anything. Once you're done with that, you go back. But I don't like the color I'm using over here, so I'm going to change the color to white. Go to style, color, put it on white. So light can show. I can still change it to center alignment also. Change it to center alignment. Change to right alignment. Anywhere you want to put it, just make sure it's something creative so just mess around with any tools we have over here so i'm going to click 
back here again so we've done our logo which is the fourth aspect and our text over here so the next thing we are going to do right now is to import a call to action what does the call to action mean it can comes in form of a button uh, which you navigate it will navigate it to another place probably another page maybe an external page a different page from your own website uh, maybe a third party website address anything you want to put there but it consists of link so I'm going to drag it over here drag the button then I'll drop it so the button I'm going to center it and I'm going to change the color mind you we are using two colors right now which is our white and also this is our deep blue which I copied the color code over here so now I'm going to change the button color I will change the outline to white white the in why the text I will change it to my deep view. So am I going to do? I'll go to style. Then this is the button color over here. I want to change it to white. So my text color. I'm going to copy my color code over here. Ctrl A, Ctrl C. Then I'll paste it over here. Ctrl V. As you can see right now, this is my text color over here which come out it comes out nice so now this is our call to action we already designed it but we haven't add any actions to it so maybe probably we want them to go to a particular place on our website i will copy the link address here which in this hash include probably link option if you want it to open in a new window or the window you are still working on so maybe you want it to go to maybe let's just say video tutorial you just put this hashtag here then you add video tutorials to it video video tutorials or probably let's just say store store sorry store so automatically once the person click on this icon here it's going to take them to your store straight away or if you want to maybe probably add your youtube channel to it so just go to your channel copy the link on your channel then paste it here automatically it will get the job done for you no stress nothing at all for you to do so we're done with the other section but know this you are not just really limited uh to just one picture on the other you can design as much as possible anything you want to design there can decide not to add your logo there just to put maybe in heading your website name stuff like that etc etc so you can decide to do anything with it mess with every tool there are so many tools there which i'll be using one by one and i'll be showing you how to make use of them these are the basic tools you can upgrade to a premium plan which is the pro version to get access to other stuff but we're using just the uh, the basic plan right now to design our website easy and straightforward so we are done with the header for now the next step is to add the product and services which we offer so we are going to do that now but before we do that let's save our work and check it out on the website so we are going to click on update so once it does i'll open a new tab then i'll search i'll type in the web address reflex tutorial Reflex tutorial GE. Then I'll click on enter. Let's see what our header look like. As you can see, this is what we created. This is just the uh, the banner which we created right now, which is very cool indeed. So the next step right now is for we to go back to our Elementor page builder again. This time around, we are creating uh, our catalog. What we do, what our site is all about. The product and services which we offer like this is my website now i sell products which are digital products for picture editing my video tutorial my smudge painting my photography and so on graphic design included so what am i going to do now i'm going to start listing everything i do so i'm going to start by creating uh, a section here my section i'm going to click here 
then click on one section then I'm going to import a heading I'm going to leave the background blank like this because I don't want the I don't, I don't want any color on the background so I'm going to drag it in drag it here make sure it's on center alignment and I'll change the text over here change it to I'm going to write everything in a capsule letter I'm going to change to list of our services of our product and services you can write anything you want there and services So you can change it to heading one to make it bigger. Then change the color. You know we are using two basic color right now. We use our white and our deep blue. Which you copy our color over here. I'm going to pick it or select it, copy. Then I'll change the color. I'll click on color over here. Then I'll paste it. Control V. So you can see, I'm going to increase the size. I'm going to increase it. Okay, TICP, I think it's okay right now. So I'll still go back here again. But I want to leave a space between my header and also the product. So that's where I'm going to be using my spacer. We call this spacer. It's, it adds space within two sections or within two lines of our uh, design. So I'm going to drag it. I want it to be within the banner and our product. As so you can see, there's a whole lot of space there. So you can try to reduce it. Reduce it and increase it. You see it. I think it's okay. Like, like this is okay. Or I can just reduce it a little bit. Okay, that's that for now. With the next step, we are going to add our services. So I'm still going to create a new section. This time around, I'm using uh a tree structure so i'm going to click on it why i'm using a tree structure structure is that i'm listing my products so i want three products to be on a section uh the first one i'm going to I'm, i'll go back here again so how we're going to list our products firstly the product image we are going to drag it to the tree side product image product image the next is the product uh, itself, the name, the title. So I'll go back here again. Stem around. I'm picking my headings. Headings. I'm going to add headings to the tree. Headings. I'll still go again. The last one. Sorry. Headings again. So the next one I'm going to do now is my text. The description about the service, what the service is all about. So this way I'll pick my text editor. Text editor one. I'm going to do that to the three side. Text editor two. Do that for the last side also. Text editor three. So once we're done with the text editor, there's still one more thing we need to do, uh, which is our call to action. So our call to action is for this particular product. It's going to redirect us to the page where the product is located. Like our smudge painting, uh, we are going to add a link that will redirect us to the smudge painting. Our video tutorials, we are going to add a link that will redirect us there. Our photography they are going to add a link that will direct us there about us and so on and so forth so that's what the call to action button we do so i'm going to pick my button i'll drag it still go back to the menu again pick another button that button drag it there still go back there again still pick another button i'll drag it there so now I will start editing on the three, uh, on the three product first. I'm not only listing three products, I'm listing up to four. I'm listing four to five products right now, but I'm starting with these three first. So I will select, click on the image to add the image to it. Firstly, let me go with my smudge painting first. I'll go back to my farm manager, 
try the picture I want to make use of. Let me start with smudge painting. Uh, let me look for the one that will fit the size I want to make use of it for. Okay, smudge. Let me start my smudge painting. This is number two. Let me click on OK. Sorry, let me drag it there. Wait for it to load. Wait for it to load. Okay, I think I already have the picture here before, so I'm just going to click it and insert it. As you can see, these are products. So mind you, I'm using a 5x6 picture now. So till I finish inserting my products, the size of the picture I'll be making is of I have to be 5x6 inches. So that everything can run together. And my headings also have to be in one line. One line and the text are supposed to be in three lines too. Just as I did for every other thing. So I'm done with the I'm done with the picture for this one. The next thing is to add my tights over here. I'm going to change this to smudge painting. Smudge painting. Painting. So the next thing now is for me to write a description about the smudge painting. Uh, I can just write If if you want to learn want to learn more about smudge painting about smudge painting or you want to see one to see some of my previous work my previous job job kindly click on the link below on the link below below so we're done with that as you can see i make sure it's on three line because i'm going to be using three line for this and this also so what i'm done with that i want to centralize it i want it to be on center alignment so i think that is okay for now so i'll go to style also the color i'm still going to use the color i'm using on ruby that's the color i'll be using all through till i'm done with my uh designs so the next thing i'll go to i'll click on the icon which is the call to action i'll click on it also centralize it too so after i'm done centralizing it i will i would like to add a link here which is my smudge painting link so i'll go to the tab i opened over here i'll click on smudge painting i'll wait for it to load so once it does i'll copy the link there ctrl c I'll go back here, I'll paste the link here. Ctrl V. So anytime someone click on this button, you take them directly to my smart painting page, which is what I'm trying to achieve right now. But I've done that, but I won't change the color uh, of the button and I want everything to be in, in a single color. So I'll go back to style again. So I'll change the button color. I'll go back to my notepad. Copy the color I'm using and I'll paste it here. Ctrl V. So you can see right now, this is our button color again. So we're done with the first product, the second product. I'm still going to click here, insert a picture, upload file, back to my file manager again. This time around, let me go for photography. Photography, as you can see, all the pictures I'm using are on the same side. So I'm still going to drag the picture 
drag it to my Google Chrome again, drop it there. I'll wait for it to load. But mind you guys, while using WordPress, make sure you reduce the size of the picture very well to make it fit in and also to make your site load faster. So I've already imported the picture right now. So I'll just click on insert media. As you can see, their boats are the same size, which is which will be perfect. Because we don't want one of our products to be up, we want to ship it down, we want everything to be in uh, the same shape. So now we'll name this one photography. Photography cap lock photography. So I'm still going to change the center alignment also. I'll go to my color. I'll change the color to the color I'm using Ctrl V. So I'm done with the headings. Stem around my text, my text. Sorry. Uh, mind you, if you want to edit any text, you can edit from here directly. Uh, once you click on the text, it will bring the text menu for you via. So you can just edit from here and delete everything that's already on screen. Then start to write afresh. Hello. You can write anything you want. You can actually design a whole different thing from what I'm designing right now. I'm just using this to teach you what you can do with Elementor Paid Builder. This is what I build my website with and I love it very well. Very very helpful if you know how to use WordPress or if you don't even know how to use WordPress. This is my video we help a lot why making the WordPress. So let me start by writing hello. Are you are you in need of a photographer? Grapher or you want to check out how awesome awesome my photo gallery is gallery is kindly click, click on the link below sorry kindly Click on the link below for this so. So we're done with that. Next thing we are going to centralize it also. Center alignments as you can see right now. So we're also going to change the color. Ctrl V. We're going to paste it here. Ctrl V. So it's not necessary to use my color use the color you know it will be best for your website so we're done with the text the next thing is to add our icon uh, we want the call to action to redirect us to so I'll go back to the new tab I opened over here so this time around I'm going to be clicking on my photography I want to copy the link of the photography and paste it there so once someone just uh, click on it it's going to retire them to this this page so I'm going to copy it ctrl C go back here and I'll paste it there ctrl V so whenever someone just click on it right now it's going to retire them to my photography uh, page on the website so I'm still going to centralize it here then I'll go to style and change the color style click on color so I'll go back to my notepad ctrl C this time around ctrl v so as you can see we are using the same color we'll make sure everything we are doing uh, is in the same line so we'll go to the third one so we'll click on image also import the image for it and we can call this one our youtube video or whatever we decide to call it okay let's go for before we go for YouTube video, 
Uh, let's go for our store first. So I'll go to my farm manager. So look for a picture which is about the same size too. Uh, okay, okay, I think it's the same size with the with the ones I made this up. Okay, let me use this one for start. So I'm also going to drag it there. I'll drop it. Wait for it to load. As you can see, all the pictures I'm using right now, uh, they are five by six. All everything is in the same size. That's 1,500 by 1,800 pixel. Everything I'm using right now is in the same size, so that everything will rhyme uh, in the store uh, section. So you can see right now the pictures are of the same size. So the next thing I'll do, I will add my text to my my headings over here, which is the my online store. Cap lock online store. So I'm still going to centralize it. I'll go to style, I'll change the color. Control V. So then I will change I'll go to my text if I uh, and now I like all then I'll start. Are you interested? Interested in upgrading? Your picture editing skill, editing skill, you are in the right place, right place, kindly click on the link the link below so purchase picture editing file to purchase editing files let's just cut it short editing files so we're also going to centralize it and also this time around we'll still go back go back to the button also before we go back there we actually have to change this color back to the color i'm making use of so i'll click on style click on the ash color ctrl v sorry ctrl a ctrl v so we're done with the color over here so click on the button make sure you centralize so this time around i'll go back to this tab again go to my store click on it before it load once it does, I'm going to copy the URL code, Ctrl C, and I'm also going to paste it here also, Ctrl V. So I will change this color also, go to style. There are so many things you can do in this style. You can add animations to it, just manipulate it, check it out one after the other while doing it. You learn new skills where I can never teach you everything. When it comes to Elementor page view, that because actually I won't test every tool there. So the more you work with it, the more you find out how to make use of it. So just test everything. We have so many options for you to test it, especially when you're familiar with Photoshop. It's very easy for you to navigate. Uh, very very easy. Even though you're not familiar familiar with Photoshop, you can just test out everything over there. So once you're done with that, I'm going to still going to change the color. I'll go back to my notes pad copy the color I'm using and I'll paste it here back Ctrl A Ctrl V as you can see everything right now is in the same color but this one over this text over here and this my heading over here the colors are not the same but the one I've been using so far so I'll go back here okay the color is the same okay, I don't know why it's not popping up and also the color is the same okay I think we're done with that so that's that for now so now let's save it now let's update it click on update then we'll go to our new tab to load it and check out what we've done so far so this is our new tab we'll go to our home remember we are currently working on our, on our home page right now so i'll click on home then i'll wait for it to load as you can see okay uh this is our website now 
this is the list of, of the service we just added right now so far so good i think it's looking all that nice so the next thing we are adding two more products right now again so instead of using a three section now we are going to make it a two section right now so we're still going to add everything we add here which is the image the header the text and the call to action also so how are we going to do that firstly i'm going to pick drag the image on the both side image on the left hand side also same thing to the right hand side also so next i'm going to drag the heading heading drag it below also do the same thing here too heading same thing here the next is our text editor i'm going to drag it down below text editor and also text editor here also okay fine final is our call to action which is our body drag here go back drag it back again okay now we're going to add our picture first uh, i can decide to use another size for this tab or i can still go with my 5x6 if i still have any left so i'm going to click on my image click on choose image upload file then i'll go back to my file manager okay i think i have one for my video tutorial over here i will drag it into my google chrome so i wait for it to load once it does I'm going to insert it okay as you can see right now wow the image comes out nice so this one is going to be my video tutorial let me name it video tutorial content video tutorial catalog video tutorial I'm also going to centralize it I'll change the color back. Ctrl V. Okay, I think I won't copy the this one. Ctrl V. As you can see right now. So I'm still going to add my text to it. Hello. Hello. If you are interested in learning. any of the skill sets of the skill sets I offer from photography so smudge painting Click on the link below. To start to learn. So we're done with that. We're still going to change the color, style. Click here. Control V. So we'll go to the button. I'm going to centralize the button right now. Style. Let's change the color first. Control V. Control V. Go back to contents. Centralize it. And note, you can change uh, it from click here to anything you want. You can change it to buy now. Depends on what you are using it for. So it's not compulsory that you use click here. So 
So just be creative about it. So now I'll still go back to this tab again. This time around, we're going to my video tutorial. So I'll copy the link from my video tutorial and paste it here or I can just put hashtag video iPhone iPhone tutorial so automatically it will bring it up here. So we're done with that the next step is for we to add a picture to the other side with color grading of outdoor pictures. So it's not on my my menu over here, but I can later add it on. Just want me to complete five sets that I want to create for it to look lively and okay. That's why I'm using uh, the color grading. So I'll still go to my picture. I'll select the picture I want to make use of. Upload file, then I'll still go to back to my file manager again to drag and drop. So I'm going to drag it. Uh, to my Google Chrome, wait for it to upload. Then I'll click on Insert Media. As you can see, they are all on the same size right now. So now I'll still change the text again. Change the text to color grading. Color grading. So also the right up. Then color grading. How to color grade picture? Great picture. Blah, blah, blah. So let us be first about this. So I won't waste you guys' time. So I'll still make sure it's on center alignment. is on center alignments and also the collaborating also should be in center alignment too then I'll change the color style color mind you ever since we are using just one color just to make it look okay as a graphic designer or as a web designer to make our design cool that's why we're using just one color you can decide to use three color but make sure you use the three color from the start to the end don't add other color suites Color combination matters a lot, communicates a lot with the people you are trying to communicate with. So also this icon over here I will shift it to the middle. Center alignment. Then I'll go to style, change the color also. Control A, Control V. So I don't have any uh, link to put to this one now. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm going to update, click on update over here. So I was listed our products. So I'm going to click here and then go to my own to see the list of five products we just add to our website. As you can see right now. Wow, it looks nice and it looks very very presentable. So we're done with the product listing. The next, you can decide to choose any section for yourself, anything at all. At all. So the next section I'll be using right now is uh, why choose us, why us, why you should choose us for your design. So this section, I'm just going to do some write-offs, probably not needed. I can copy and paste write up from any site, just for you guys to know. So you can just keep creating with the few skills uh, tools I showed you, you can create a website to the end. So let me just show you all the tools and how they work right now. So I'm going to end the video here after I show you guys the tools. And I'm going to, be, I'm going to give you guys my real website, the one I did about 3 pages there. So you guys can use that to work on yourself. I'm trying to create everything the video is going to be too long for you guys to watch and you might get bored along the way 
so I'm going to cut it short here so I will show you what all the basic tools work for how they works and so on and I'll be I will complete the website on my own personal time uh, once you guys click on it through the via the description you guys will see how cool the website website is so let me go back to my elementary page reader now and start showing you all the works what are their works are so firstly let me create a new section so that it don't affect what we created so far uh, let me use the one uh, structure so we've worked with the headings the text uh, editor the image we've not worked with the video we work with the button we know with the divider not with the spacer so now let's start with the inner section uh, we've already created a section here we have a section here so now we decide to create the inner section a section inside a section so we just have to drag it uh, maybe under here as you can see it brought, to, brought up two sections for us so we are creating a section inside a section and uh, maybe uh, under this uh, my small painting now uh, that the products I want to add three pictures there so I can just decide to use this one add a picture to the left add a picture to the right do the same thing to the second product or product so just to spice up the work so those are the work of the inner section so I'm going to undo that now so next uh, is our video if you want to add a video to your website as you can see you yeah, are going to copy the video link for wherever I want to add the video on from and the source either from YouTube, from Vimeo, from Dailymotion, from Self maybe you posted the video yourself so you can just click on it and uh, change the settings when you want the video to start from what time do you want the video to end uh, do you want it to play automatically when someone just click on your website uh, you, know, you want it to play sound or you want the sound to be mute you want it to be on loop you want uh, the video player control to show maybe when the person scroll and get there you want them to pause the video or you don't want them to be able to do anything there so that's what that is meant for the video and what size do you want for the video this is what the size are for so the advance okay how far do you want the video to be at the edges over here do you want to read the edge or you want to reduce it from the edge so these are what the settings are for and there's also so many things that you can mess with to check out what it does so we've used the spacer but not the divider the divider is a straight line that will draw between a section and another section let's just try that out now let me drop it down below let me drop it here as you can see our divider this is the line right now it's going to bring up a line that will divide a section for you except in separating sections from one another so i'll click on ctrl z to go back so the next thing we are going to use right now is our google map maybe you want to spice up your work a little bit maybe once you're done with the editing you want to spice it up you can just put in google map it's very big so add an address to it probably a nigeria address or wherever you are as you can see it looks nice someone can even zoom in zoom out see the see fit so you can just increase the size how you want how long you want it to be how short you want it to be so on and so forth as you can see you are creating a nice website free of charge no money needed free hosting free domain name free with server so other things we have here what are the other things we have here we have our icons so let me drag an icon maybe you want to rate this someone a five star or want to select any icon so once you just drag the icon there go to icon library and search for any icon you want to use we have so many icons here depending on the one you want to use so so many icons if you want to use a facebook icon call to action anything any action you want to use maybe about those you want to use something that looks like about those any icon at all you can select an icon here once you select it 
click on inserts then you can actually change the color default tag frame if you want it to be high in a circle if you want to be you want the circle to be full why the color inside will change and if you want it to be normal default so go to style you can change the color change the size change anything you want there that's the icon and there's so many icons for you guys to make use of so that's that about the basic tools when it comes to elemental page builder so apart from that these are the premium plan this the woocommerce uh the size uh the general this general is the generals are pre icon box image box star rating if you want to read maybe you are doing a testimonial you want to read yourself so just look around it so basic gallery okay maybe now i created like my smudge painting now uh the page i want to add so many pictures i, I don't want to be bringing them in one by one i just want to import everything just like my normal phone gallery i wanted to look at my phone gallery so that's when i will drag this i'll drag it there so i'm going to as you can see instead of being showing me to insert one picture show me addition of picture so i can decide how many picture will be on a row i can decide maybe 10 picture in a row 3 picture in a row 4 picture in a row so and so on and so forth so let's search for another tools there so just keep messing around with the tools you get so many things for you guys to work on social icons want to add a social media bundle there testimonials progress bar basic gallery icon lists you want to list icon so just and so on and so forth so just mess around to uh i won't be this way i will be going to be stopped for now i will stop here for now you guys just have to practice and the tools with tools i gave you guys i know you guys will do a lot of things with it so we'll just pick any tool there keep on practicing if you have any question i'll drop my contact you can contact me there in no time and i will make sure i create this site complete for you guys to be able to make use of as prototype while trying to build your own so thank you guys thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification icon i will be doing so many videos on wordpress and how to monetize your wordpress site to free of charge also by using a third party server to sell your goods online via wordpress and your third party so thanks guys stay tuned catch you guys on the next tutorial one love